Lacey, tell me a bit about uh, this piece here. It uh, looks like you chose some words that describe you well, right? And then you artistically put them together. Yeah, it was a radial name design. You start from the middle and you focus out. What are some of the things you chose that captured your person? Acting and school, and then my name, and then basketball. Tell me about the one over there that's like uh, kind of a, it looked like was it graphite and with yeah, there's a shoe in the middle. Yeah, you were supposed to break, it was like broken value, and we had to draw a shoe. You have uh, the Mickey Mouse, right? And that was an American Gothic, as styled after the famous portrait. And did, uh, uh, what was your teacher's instruction on that one, to pick out something that you really liked? She just, um, like, said to pick two characters and to make them like wear the style of clothes that in the American Gothic and have the house. And you chose Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Were you a fan of uh, Disney? Or? Yeah, because they're cute. And then uh, how do you think that turned out and what kind of things did you learn on that art project? Um, I learned that it's hard to draw Mickey Mouse. How do you think it turned out though? It, it look, everyone can tell it's a Mickey Mouse. Well, I think it turned out better than I thought it would. Kind of a neat thing about art is that sometimes you do better than you thought you were going to when you started, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me about um, this medium that Miss Pikey had you working in, um, and uh, and how you went about the project. Well, we had to do a like a room perspective, so we had to do a bunch of detail, and we had to do a vanishing point and make all the lines connect to the vanishing point. So it took a while. Did you uh, enjoy this, uh, the, working with perspectives, and how do you think it turned out? Do you think it captured reality pretty well? Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good, so, yeah. What's the biggest thing you learned in this project as an artist? Well, I learned, like, how images can, like, like sink in and sink out, and it just kind of fits into the paper like that. We had to make a portrait of ourselves out of something... 3D, and I made it out of beads and glitter. Is it like trial and error or a sketch? Or what do you think? I did a sketch. I first colored it with uh, watercolor, I think. And then, yeah, I picked some colors that go together. And the beads are right on top of the watercolor work, right? I see what you mean. You used... Uh, a variety of items that you glued on there and tell me about the the items that you chose and why you chose uh, for the hair I did different colors of brown and yellow <laughs> because my hair is brown and then I did my eyes brown because it's my eyes and then I just like decided to put random colors that match in like a group and like for the background I just like took all the colors I didn't use and just glued them on there Tell me about uh, this butterfly uh, painting. It's uh, watercolor. And uh, tell me what your inspiration was for it and how you think it turned out. Um, well, we were supposed to do various you know, art pieces and put them together in one. Uh -huh. So I was researching this one artist. I can't really remember his name. But it was just this picture, the butterfly and the stones. And that really popped out to me. And then there was another artist who used different colors in the clouds, and that really did that too. And so it looked really bland, so I just added this rose to make it stand out more. Okay. Uh, what other types of work do you have? I saw you have that tiger and um, a, v a vase. I have a monster can right over there, and I have a woman in a field. Um, and I also have my old truck over there with the barn in the back of it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And my Vietnam wall, veteran wall over there with the boots in front of it. Uh -huh. yeah. do, you, do, you have, do you make all this stuff in school or is it some of it to your own projects? Because you sure cranked out a lot. <laughs> no, I made this all in school. Okay. Yeah. And I do a lot of artwork at home. Uh 